Hey there, everybody. It's Rick Uster here with Ergon Webb. We tell you the facts, not fluff. And today, I've got something cool in this box. Stay with us. All right, so before we get started, I'd like to tell you that this video is brought to you by Pyramid Air. When you're looking for your next air gun, looking to get that next awesome accessory, please do so at www.pyramidair.com. Okay, so what we have in the box is absolutely nothing new here. This gun's been around a long time. You guys are gonna recognize it as soon as I pull it out of the box. But we haven't looked at this in a while, and you know, it's just a really good air gun, and so let's go through it. Let's take it and uh, we'll do a trigger pull, we'll do crony, we'll do DB tests, we'll shoot some pellets, and we'll just see what makes this thing tick here. So, this is the Crossman 1322 multi-pump pistol. Now, this again, like I said, has been around a very long time. What makes this very cool, um, as far as an air gun goes, is it shoots sort of like you would with a CO2 gun where you don't have any weird recoil. So there are a lot of different pellet pistols on the market. Some are CO2, some are PCP, some are spring. What's nice about this is that it's fully self-contained and that all you need is elbow grease and you get good power with none of the weird recoil that you'd get, say, out of a spring, a spring pistol. Okay, so we've got this wonderful blister pack to get through. And I understand from a retail perspective, boy, it's really convenient, but gosh, it's a pain in the butt to open up. Let's get this done here. Okay, now I don't know how long they've been making this, probably a really long time, uh, decades, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, get this open. Oh, it's stubborn. Okay. I think we got it now. Okay. Come on now. There we go. All right. Okay. So in here we have the, you know, the packaging and the, our manual. Now the one thing, well actually, that's very cool. They actually put this right on the front. So you can start off with two pumps, six pumps, or ten pumps. So ten is your max. At max pumps, they're talking about 460 feet per second, which is pretty decent. I'm curious what they're using to get with that velocity, but we'll figure that out here shortly. All right, this is all mess. You can go way over there. Okay, let's take a look if there's anything in the manual that we need to really pay attention to. Probably all of it. Okay, so this goes through and walks you through every step identifies, you have it in safety instructions, we've got all the various parts of the gun, how the safety works, how to pump it, where to put the pellet, anything about oil or maintenance. Yeah, here it is, I got it. So uh, if you your air pistol will remain proper function, well, excuse me, your air pistol will maintain proper function longer if you oil it every 250 shots, but one drop across from Pelgon oil in the pump, and then they show you how to do it. So there is some regular maintenance, so definitely, before you just go out and start ripping shots, read your manual. So, all right, so here is your basic pistol, and you can go through the manual and learn all of these different parts. It is bolt action, single shot, okay? Uh, let's see, safety, all right, so you can decock it. It's got pretty cool open sights. That's one of the nice things I've always liked about this. So you've got a little notch sight, and then you can flip this over it, and you'll have a little peep sight. And I bet you, you can get the skeleton stock and turn this into a little carbine, which is also very cool. Your safety's here on the side. The trigger is not adjustable. Um, it's pretty, well, we'll find out exactly what the trigger pull is here in a second. But it seems pretty good. One of the things you'll want to do is whenever you store this, you want to store it with air in it couple pumps just to leave it pressurized. It's good for the seals and so forth. All right, so let's, um, let's do just some basic testing. We'll do 
the uh, trigger pull in here, and then we'll go out and actually do the crony and all that other stuff out there. So I got my Lyman trigger pull gauge. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay, two pounds, 2.6 ounces. Let's do it again. Two pounds, 4.7 ounces. Do it one more time. Two pounds, 2.6 ounces. So say two and a quarter pound on the trigger pull. Let's see what kind of creep it's got. Okay, so it's got a, a bit of creep. It's not two stage. So it's not bad. Um, I bet you if you were to take this apart and polish uh, all the contact points, you'd get a much nicer experience. Um, that's what I've generally seen with these. These are built to a price point, guys. They are stamped and thrown out the door as quickly as possible. Not that they're not good guns. They are just built to a price point. So if you want a nicer trigger, really all you may need to do is take the trigger components out and polish them, and you might have a much better shooting experience. Okay, so uh, let's just dry fire it, see what it's like here. So I'm gonna put on safe. Cock it. So two pumps. Okay, do you need to cock it first? No, you do not. Okay, let's do uh, six pumps, see what it sounds like. Definitely louder. Let's try 10 pumps. Okay, getting to 10 pumps, bit of a workout, but if you need to take a pest like a rat or you know something close range, you'll want that little bit extra power. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so definitely louder as you go up in pumps. Some of the immediate sort of takeaways on the aesthetics, they've done something different from what I remember on the grips. Um, they're sort of a muted plastic versus more of a shiny plastic that they used to have. Uh, it feels, the plastic feels pretty good. The pumping me mechanism is kind of crunchy and hopefully that'll smooth out with time. Again, I think that's just part of the overall, um, maybe what you get what you pay for kind of a deal. What has always done well with this gun, though, is its accuracy and, you know, its power for effort. So you get pretty good power out of this, even though it's a pistol. And I think what we need to do now is move on out to the range, actually do some crony tests and maybe even do some DB tests and then some accuracy tests. And then we're going to come back in here and wrap it up, guys. We'll be right back. OK, so let's get to some crony testing here. I've got four pellets here on the table. And it is a lot of work to crank this up to 10 pumps. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, just a simple, simple test. We'll do like two shots at each power setting just to get the idea. I'll record everything here on my phone so that we have it. There we go. We'll actually have it to, uh, right there on the screen for you guys. I'm using the Pro Chrono Deluxe Bluetooth Chronograph. I love this thing. The more I use it, the more I love it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with, let's see, we'll do RWS Hobbies, then we'll do GTO, a lead free, then we'll do 1435 JSPs and 1589 JSPs. It's a good representation of some different pellet weights to see sort of what you're gonna get with some pellets that you may use in those weight classes. Okay, so starting off with the RWS Hobby, Let's see how we do here. So we'll load it up here and we'll do one, two. Two hundred twenty-three. Okay, let's do one more of that. One, two. Okay, now we'll go ahead. I should always put it on safe. I forgot last time. We're going to go ahead and do six pumps. Three 
398. That's good. I think that's going to be better than what the paper promises to. Three, four, six. Four hundred four. That's great. Okay, we'll try ten. And I'm wondering where you really hit that sort of optimal. You may hit optimal at seven or eight pumps and just not have to waste time going to 10. Let's see. So we'll do 10 pumps now. Okay. Four hundred eighty-two. That's awesome, actually. All right, so that is, I think, if we go back to the paper, that may do better than it was representing on paper. So that is pretty awesome. So these are 11.75 grain, and they are lead-free. I will do two pumps. Oh, let's go ahead and put a pellet in it first. Okay. Okay, and we'll put our safety on. Two pumps. One. Okay, not a big difference there. Okay. I said not a big difference compared to the lead pellets, I should say. 232. Super consistent. That's nice. Okay. I will do six pumps. All right. Already done. Here we are. 409. I'm liking this more and more here. Six pumps here. By the way, that whole pumping mechanism is smoothing out nicely. So just new out of the box. It's a little crunchy, but it's getting better as we go here. 408. All right, so consistency right off the rip with these is better. I mean, the shot deviation, I mean, we're only doing two shots, I know, but very tight, only one foot per second difference. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll do 10 pumps now. 493. Very close to 500. That's cool. All right, last one from this pellet. 496. Okay, a little bit of difference there, but only three feet per second. So close to 500 foot per second. That is excellent. We topped out power wise at 6.39 foot, uh, foot pounds. That is pretty good. That's actually really good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stop the recording. All right. So much, much heavier pellet. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Two pumps. Oops. Oh, you know what? I forgot to start the recording. Got ahead of myself. All right, and start the crony. All right, here we go. 235. Pretty good. 235. Low power, it doesn't seem to matter much. 
Okay, big difference in the in the shot difference there in the, in the velocity. All right, let's go to six pumps. See what it does. Here we go. 373. Okay. 381. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, we got one more to do here. I'm gonna go up to 10 pumps on this. Okay, yeah, that's six and a half foot pounds, 6.49. Um, that's very good. That is 6.6 .6 foot pounds. That is exceptional. Um, I think right off the rip, this gun is really exceeding my expectations on the power. And I'll tell you that the trigger is getting better and the pump has certainly improved just in this short little bit of shooting we've done. So, you know, that out of the box sort of feel to it, it smooths out very, very quickly. We got one more pellet here. Okay, here we are. Shiny new pellets. Okay, two pumps. 230. It seems like that two pumps, it doesn't really seem to matter what pellet we're using. We're still getting that, you know, 230 foot per second. That's kind of interesting. 230. That's nice. Okay, six pumps. 367. Okay, 4.78 foot-pounds on six pumps is absolutely respectable. If you had to take out a small pest or something, you could certainly do that with that. That's impressive. Okay, here we go. Ten pumps. 436. Okay, that is 6.67 .6 foot-pounds. Last one. 438. 6.73 foot-pounds and a little pistol that's extremely affordable, requires nothing but a little elbow grease and some pellets to get some very respectable power. Now we're gonna test uh, our DB tests. We'll do two, six, and 10. And I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna stick with just these uh, 15, eight, nines. I and mean, they're giving us the most power. They seem very consistent, so I'm probably gonna stick with those. Um, for accuracy. So I'm going to shoot our DB test with that and we'll see what we get. I'll just call out the numbers um, when we see them and we'll go from there. When we get that set up, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're set up to shoot some DB tests. Now the way I set this up is I'm about four or five feet off at about a uh, 60 degree angle. The sensor is pointed toward the muzzle to try and get both mechanical and shot noise. 
Uh, I have my buddy Micah over there who is going to tell me what our numbers are. And we're gonna shoot um, two shots on each power setting with the 15, 15.89s and see what we get. So uh, we're gonna start with two pumps. All right, first shot. 89.5, go ahead and reset it, Micah. Okay. 89. 89, so 89 dB, that's pretty quiet, relatively speaking. Now we'll go to six pumps. This is gonna be noticeably louder. Okay. 95.4. 94.9. 94 94.9. All right, so there's a bit of a variance there, um, interestingly enough. All right, let's go to 10 pumps. Ninety-seven point six. So, not quite a hundred dB, but it's getting there. Okay, last one. Okay, ninety-six point five. So ninety-seven point six was our high dB. So, in reality, that's really not that bad. Um, so now we need to go and do some actually testing. We'll go get that set up, I'll be right back. Okay, moment of truth time here. Let's do some accuracy tests. Now, in uh, all fairness to Crossman, I do wish I was a better shot with a pistol, but you're gonna get what you get, and I'm gonna do my best. So first things first, you do have a fully adjustable rear sight. Um, to adjust the windage, you're gonna need like a 3 16th flat head you're gonna loosen this and then just slide the entire side assembly left or right as you need to adjust. On the back to adjust for elevation, you're gonna need a number one Phillips, loosen that up and then just adjust it as needed to get you the height you need. So I'm gonna be shooting at um, basically 11 yards, about 10 meters, and I wanna see how I do. I'm going to be shooting on six pumps, not 10. I uh, just, think it's, well, I just want to shoot on six pumps. There you go. Uh, I think it's going to be representative and I don't have to work so hard. So let's go ahead and take some shots here. Um, and again, I hope that I do this pistol justice. It'd be really nice if they had the steel rail, like the new 2240XL. Maybe they'll do something like that. Maybe a 1322XL, that would be pretty awesome. Because then I could mount a red dot on this and that would be a lot more practical for me I do struggle with open sights because that's really terrible eyesight. So, all right, here we go, six pumps. Okay.
And one more. Okay, um, yeah, that shot really, really well. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Okay guys, it is so pretty out here today, I didn't wanna to have to go back into the studio, so we do the wrap out here. So the paperwork or the little banner says an American classic, and you know what? This thing really is. I mean, in a world where everything is overselling, let me just break this down, okay? so. We did the crony test, and I didn't have the paper with me, but I thought this was the case. On two of the four pellets, this gun shot over spec, which, um, and we're talking, one was a lead pellet, so we had a, a the 11.9 grain hobbies shot at 482. We're only supposed to get 460, so this is actually legitimate what you should expect. That's incredibly impressive as far as I'm concerned. Um, when we got to the heavier pellets at the 14.3, which is a medium weight, decently weighted 22 caliber pellet, uh, we topped out at 456, only four foot per second shy of the paper. Now, I'm at 4,600 feet, so maybe seven pumps is six pumps at sea level. I don't know, but I'm getting this sort of you know power output at elevation. So I gotta say, this, this whole platform has impressed me since the time I was a youngster and shot one of these. This thing has been around forever and it's just as good, probably better today than it was back then. It is like such a great starting point for people that wanna do tinkering and customizations. There's so many things you can do with this platform to absolutely transform it into something that is your personal creation. That is one of the things that has made both the 2240 and also the 1322 so incredibly popular and I can see that it's still going to be very popular because I'm getting almost seven foot pounds six and some change um, uh, I'm not a pistol shooter guys and that's the groups I'm getting I mean really I mean I got three and one hole essentially and a little bit above and a little bit below uh, that is probably center to center I don't know 0.7 of an inch give or take a little bit um, but that's me shooting. You put this in the hands of somebody that really can shoot a pistol. That's impressive. Now, the platform is just great. It has been great. It continues to be great. And if you like just plinking or you want something for just rats and pests or squirrels, I mean, close to seven foot pounds, you got more than enough energy to take a squirrel uh, off your bird feeder, um, provided you got the skill set with the accuracy. Just a great, great product. Crossman continues to kill it with this product line. Guys, that's it. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.